How's it guys, Manash here and today we have some Act 7 Chapter 4 gameplay. So, so I just completed the Karina challenge where you have to use Mutant Champs to clear Abyss. But now I'm going to be taking a break from that and focusing more on Act 7.4. So I just hopped into this quest and I believe I took the easiest path. It has nodes that benefit mutants like in Care VQ, although you don't even need to use mutants and comply with the nodes. You can just cheese it with Ronin or you know any good mystic that benefits from those high buff matchups because there is unlimited power as well. So they gain lots of fury buffs based on the debuffs you placed on them. However, there is also unblockable finale so you do have to be careful with that last 25%. So I didn't really play well during this path, I lost my two good mutants for this fight which is why I'm doing it with Guardian right now. Just wasn't really focused so I forgot about the unblockable part a few times and they hit pretty hard with all those fury buffs. But anyway, pretty easy path if you do it right or cheese it and then we get to the bosses and I decided to take the Darkhawk boss which is quite a fun one I must say. So he does have special connoisseur but you do get the buff synthesis fury precision which gives you the prowess to counter that node. So when you parry you get a fury buff and when you dex it basically gets converted into a prowess. So you can use pretty much any decent dark or counter for this fight uh, as long as they don't rely on armor break because he is immune to that. I mean you can still use champs like Magneto but his damage won't be very good in this fight. And then he also has the aggressive node which I really like just to have the AI be a bit more consistent. So pretty straightforward fight with Guardian, 2 special 1, special 2 rotation, I was hoping that would take him out with all the prowesses but it was not quite enough so I had to do one more special 2 after that. But I really like Guardian as a Dark Hawk counter, uh, largely due to that special 1. It used to be a bit annoying back in the day but with Guardian I can just parry it and get a bit of power without taking much damage. Which is quite satisfying and then after I knock him down he will be in shield mode so I can't just hit him freely without a motor blocking. So then I just do parry 3 hits to make sure I don't get auto blocked since he can't do that while he's stunned. Once the shield expires I can go back to doing 5 hit combos, throw that second special 1 which puts me at 8 charges. And now some of them are going to start to expire so I need to race that special 2. Which you typically have more than enough time to do as long as you throw the special 1 just before you get to 2 bars of power. And watching it back I'm now realizing that it was not a good special 2 at all. Not a single crit from those 7 hits, so the only red numbers are coming from the shock debuff. If I had just 1 crit out of those 7 hits, the difference could have been massive, because the second special 2 was just 4 charges and 10 prowesses, a crit was doing 120,000 damage roughly, so pretty big difference there. But yeah, pretty simple stuff and that's gonna be it for this one. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna make these videos, I don't know if I need to do full path stuff. I think a lot of the parts are fairly straightforward, some might be a little bit more challenging. Also depends on the counters you have of course, so maybe I might just do boss stuff. But I find Act 7 is just generally more accessible than Act 6 was back in its day. So maybe it's not really worth doing full path videos because that's going to take a lot more time, but I'll see. If there's demand for it then of course, but anyway that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys found this interesting and as always thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon.